Welcome back. Please share, subscribe, and comment. In physics, the acoustic wave equation is a second-order partial differential equation that governs the propagation of acoustic waves through a material medium resp, a standing wave field. The equation describes the evolution of acoustic pressure P, or particle velocity, U as a function of position X and time T. A simplified scalar form of the equation describes acoustic waves in only one spatial dimension, while a more general form describes waves in three dimensions. For lossy media, more intricate models need to be applied in order to take into account frequency-dependent attenuation and phase speed. Such models include acoustic wave equations that incorporate fractional derivative terms. See also the acoustic attenuation article or the survey paper. Definition in one dimension, the wave equation describing a standing wave field in one dimension, position x, is px x minus 1 c 2 p t t equals 0, where p is the acoustic pressure, the local deviation from the ambient pressure, and where c is the speed of sound. Derivation start with the ideal gas law p equals rho r. Specific t, where t the absolute temperature of the gas and specific gas constant are specific. Then, Assuming the process is adiabatic, pressure P, rho, can be considered a function of density rho. The conservation of mass and conservation of momentum can be written as a closed system of two equations rho T plus, rho U, x equals zero, rho U, T plus, rho U two plus P rho, x equals zero. This coupled system of two nonlinear conservation laws can be written in vector form as QT plus F Q, x equals zero, with Q equals rho rho u equals Q1 Q2, F Q equals rho u rho u 2 plus P rho, equals Q2 Q2, 2 slash Q1 plus P Q1. To linearize this equation, let Q x t equals Q0 plus Q x t, where Q0 equals rho 0, rho 0 u 0 is the constant background state, and Q is a sufficiently small perturbation, i.e., any powers or products of Q can be discarded. Hence, the Taylor expansion of F, Q gives F, Q0 plus Q is almost equal to F, Q0 plus F, Q0, Q where F, Q equals del F1 slash del Q1 del F1 slash del Q2 del F2 slash del Q1 del F2 slash del Q2 equals 0, 1 minus U2 plus P rho to U. This results in the linearized equation qt plus f, q0, qx equals 0 rho t plus rho u, x equals 0 rho u t plus minus u0 2 plus p rho 0, rho x plus 2 u0 rho u, x equals 0 likewise. Small perturbations of the components of q can be rewritten as rho u equals rho 0 plus rho u0 plus u equals rho zero u zero plus rho u zero plus rho zero u plus rho u such that rho u is almost equal to rho u zero plus rho zero u and pressure perturbations relate to density perturbations as p equals p zero plus p equals p rho zero plus rho equals p rho zero plus p rho zero rho plus such that p zero equals p rho zero p is almost equal to p rho zero rho where p, rho zero, is a constant, resulting in the alternative form of the linear acoustics. Equations. pt plus u zero px plus k zero ux equals zero. Rho zero ut plus px plus rho zero u zero ux equals zero. Where k zero equals rho zero p. Rho zero is the bulk modulus of compressibility. After dropping the tilde for convenience, the linear first order system can be written as P U T plus U zero K zero one slash rho zero U zero P U X equals zero. While in general, a non-zero background velocity is possible. E.g. when studying the sound propagation in a constant strength wind, it will be assumed that U zero equals zero. Then the linear system reduces to the second order wave equation. P T T equals minus K zero U X T equals minus K zero U T. X equals K zero. 1 rho 0 px, x equals c 0 2 pxx, with c 0 equals k 0 slash rho 0 the speed of sound. Hence, the acoustic equation can be derived from a system of first order advection equations that follow directly from physics, i.e., the first integrals. 
QT plus AQX equals zero, with Q equals PU, A equals zero K zero one slash row zero zero. Conversely, given the second order equation PTT equals C zero two PXX, a first order system can be derived. QT plus A caret QX equals zero, with Q equals PT minus PX, A caret equals zero C zero two one zero, where matrix A and A caret are similar. Solution provided that the speed C is a constant, not dependent on frequency, the dispersionless case. Then the most general solution is P equals F, CT minus X, plus G, CT plus X, where F and G are any two twice differentiable functions. This may be pictured as the superposition of two waveforms of arbitrary profile, one, F, traveling up the X axis, and the other, G, down the X axis at the speed C. The particular case of a sinusoidal wave traveling in one direction is obtained by choosing either F or G to be a sinusoid, and the other to be zero, giving P equals P zero sin, omega T minus or plus KX, where omega is the angular frequency of the wave and K is its wave number. In three dimensions, equation Feynman provides a derivation of the wave equation for sound in three. Dimensions as nabla 2p minus 1 c2 del 2p del t2 equals 0, where nabla 2 is the Laplace operator, p is the acoustic pressure, the local deviation from the ambient pressure, and c is the speed of sound. A similar looking wave equation, but for the vector field particle velocity, is given by nabla 2u minus 1 c2 del 2u del t2 equals 0. In some situations, it is more convenient to solve the wave equation for an abstract scalar field velocity potential, which has the form nabla 2 phi minus 1 C2 del 2 phi del T2 equals 0, and then derive the physical quantity's particle velocity and acoustic pressure by the equations, or definition. In the case of particle velocity, U equals nabla phi, P equals minus rho del del T phi. Solution The following solutions are obtained by separation of variables in different coordinate systems. They are phasor solutions. That is, they have an implicit time dependence factor of E i omega t, where omega equals 2 pi f is the angular frequency. The explicit time dependence is given by p r t k equals real p r k e i omega t. Here k equals omega slash c is the wave number. Cartesian coordinates p. RK equals AE plus or minus IKR. Cylindrical coordinates P. RK equals AH01, KR plus BH02, KR. Where the asymptotic approximations to the Hankel functions, when K are infinity, are H01. KR is asymptotically equal to 2 pi K, or EIK, or minus pi slash 4. H02, KR is asymptotically equal to 2 pi KR. E minus I k are minus pi slash 4. Spherical coordinates p r k equals a r e plus or minus i k r. Depending on the chosen Fourier convention, one of these represents an outward traveling wave and the other a non-physical inward traveling wave. The inward traveling solution wave is only non-physical because of the singularity that occurs at r equals zero. Inward traveling waves do exist.